ribbons are a familiar interface feature on all Microsoft products now, such as Word, Excel, or Outlook. You will find the ribbon design to be very intuitive after using it for a short while because they are structured around the same way somebody managing a project would go about constructing, updating, and analyzing and reporting a live project. The key tabs are classified under tasks, resources, projects, and reports. View tab and format tab revolve around how information is presented both on the screen and in other formats. The file tab, which is in a different color, leads to a view called Backstage, and we will see about this in detail in a video lecture later. Backstage deals with file management, print facilities, and also important configuration settings for Microsoft Project 2013. Now, let us look at the ribbon tabs one by one. Task tab. This is the tab where you can create new tasks, view task information, link tasks together, update work completed. Of special mention is the scroll to task button, which makes viewing tasks easy on the Gantt chart. Resource tab. Various type of resources allocated to a project can be configured here. Tasks can be allocated to resources. Resources can be balanced for work allocation and making sure over allocations don't occur. Report tab is a new addition to Project 2013, which brings in a whole lot of pre-designed reports, including the burn down report, project overview report, and a lot more. You can also create your own customized reports and make them available over any other project you manage. The project tab is used to configure the key parameters of the project being managed. For example, the project start dates, working days, and hours for different type of resources. When the project is running, you will find the baselining options particularly useful to monitor progress and view plan changes over time. The View tab helps you analyze project information in a variety of ways on the screen. You will find it particularly helpful when juggling with a large number of tasks, resources, and timelines. The Format tab is a bit special because it is dynamic and the buttons change depending on the view that you are looking at. If you notice, there is a colored label over the Format tab that changes to indicate which view is active currently and the buttons change according to the view that is active. Again, the Format tab is useful for a graphical visual presentation of the data that you are working on. When you feel you are short of screen space, you can just collapse the ribbon and get some more screen space. Just click the up arrow icon on the bottom right of the ribbon here. When you want to restore the ribbon, just click on any tab. If you want to keep it permanently on, you need to click on the pin icon. Typically, when creating a new project, more time will be spent on the task tab than any other. You will find that a few buttons are used much higher than others, and in the preceding lectures, we will see how to configure the interface for easier and faster access.